The Robert Morris University men's soccer team suffered a disappointing season last year despite having the talents to do great things. This year, the team hopes to turn it around. Um, we have uh, changed uh, the whole entire formation. Um, we're focusing a lot more defensively. We've added an extra midfielder to help out defensively, going with a 4-2-3-1. Yeah, so I've been like working much harder than last year. I've been going to the gym, doing extra work, and also on the field, trying to lead the team, also help defending as well as a team, and score goals. Defense is a vital factor on the pitch, and Alfrey hopes to improve that aspect with his goaltending this season. I have done uh, a lot of things different this season. You know, it was my first season last year, um, and I'm more experienced. I know what to expect. Like last year coming in, I didn't really know what the style of play was, what the level of play was going to be like. And this year, I know what to expect. I'm more comfortable in the back, and I'm just uh, just working hard and letting everything else play out. Nico Brett is fully expected to lead the nation in goals yet again this season. And he's proven to be on the right path by scoring all four goals in their win earlier this week against Cleveland State. Well, my personal goal this season is to like help to win a championship and score 20 goals this season. It's to, you know, go as far as we can, get to the tournament, win the NEC. Um, but specifically uh, in the defense is just to allow as less goals as and then any other team in the conference because the team that actually won the conference last year allowed the least amount of goals. Um, so defensively, you know, just focus on keeping the shutout and letting the offense take care of itself and let Nico score goals, which he will. It should be an exciting season to watch, so make sure you head to the North Athletic Complex to support the team this fall. I'm Britta Millett, Colonial Sports Center.